I'm getting vaccinated today. Yay! Should I really be excited for a needle to go up my arm? I don't know. It's the only needle that I want it to be in my arm. Psst. So, yes, I'm gonna get vaccinated today um, for obvious reasons corona oh so i'm gonna take you guys along with me we're gonna have a little road trip just together and the place i'm getting vaccinated is at this fairground i do want to say that i hope everyone can get vaccinated i mean if everyone gets vaccinated that means like ev like corona is gone or is manageable but i know some people are against it which is totally fine totally fine you do you i really don't care it's just that i hope that majority of us gets vaccinated so that we could actually end this whole pandemic thing and we don't ever have to ruin our outfits with masks there i said it i said it enjoy this trip with me and my mom and take a look at what georgia looks like i say that this is a road trip but it's like 20 minutes away from where well, actually, no, it's actually 30 minutes away from where I live. So, I mean, it's fine. It's a 30 minute road trip. So, enjoy it. I'm sick of daydreaming. I just want the feeling of you in my bed. This is okay. Like, I'm not, I don't do this. <sighs> Let me form my sentences here. Okay, this is just me. Everywhere that I go, I always bring water, food, and chapstick because every day that you go out is a life or death situation. A life or death situation could happen. I'm serious, I'm serious. I've watched so many movies, so many, so many people in movies and shows where they say, it's just a normal day. Yeah, they go to Trader Joe's and all of a sudden a whole meteor crashes on them. It's a whole life or death situation out here. So, I've came prepared. I usually bring my water bottle. I didn't have time to fill it out. And I had to stick with I had to go with these because yeah I just had to grab on what's in hand I hate using plastic but my mom brought her water bottle I brought extra just to be safe and we we've got snacks I really want to show you guys a weird thingy that my mom got from Costco mm, we love Costco have you guys seen these before these are the mushroom snacks my mom was merging. I want my big head to get in the way. I reviewed these mushroom snacks. It's a shiitake mushroom crisps. Lightly cooked and seasoned. I've already tried these, but I'm gonna pretend that this is my first time. Just to show you guys. Yeah, you can see inside. It looks like that. And they're actually Whole mushroom. Oh my god! What is that? That looks like dog poop with grass on it, but it's it's the seasoning on the mushroom. Let's try it. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna give you my whole my whole honest 100% honest raw chicken review. Very dry. It's very dry. The seasoning is good. I like the seasoning, but it's just the texture is weird. You know Lucky Charm cereal? The marshmallow part? Think of only the marshmallow part and it's not sweet, but it tastes like onions and you compact that into like a big ball and you take a bite of it. Like it's it's dry. But the texture is alike. So on the scale on from one to ten, ten being the greatest, one being like I give it like a three. Wait a minute. Let's try it. Let's go. Okay. I also brought this. These are good too. Do you want one? Mm -mm. Thank you for watching my snack review. But that's it for today. Thank you. Hey guys, we're at the place. My mom.
Ron's filling out my stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a very quick peek, okay? Ready? One, two, three. I don't want them to kick me out. I'm gonna get a needle up my I'm gonna do a very quick swoop to see the waiting room. I'm waiting here for 15 minutes, so these people are waiting for 15 minutes soon. Are you ready? Shwing, shwing, shwing. Okay, yep, that's the swoop. next time there was a cute boy over there i'm gonna come back for my second dose maybe he'll be there wait for me i just finished well actually no yeah you saw us getting out but yeah you guys want to see my boo-boo look yep it's a juicy one he literally stabbed it through all my fat all my arm fat it kind of like was scary but he was very good he was very nice not gonna lie, I was very nervous actually because I was like, what if I don't wake up tomorrow? But you know, maybe I'm just I'm just paranoid that way. But um, he was he was very nice. I told him thank you for doing this. I really appreciate it. And even though I didn't say it to everyone there, but I really do appreciate everyone who was helping with the vaccinations, whether they're the one who actually gave people the shot or the one who helped people check in like everyone yeah like i said i hope everyone gets the vaccine if not majority so that at least grad class of 2022 can get a normal prom hmm, you know so yeah with that being said i hope that you have a great day and you got a taste of what getting the vaccine is like and to the kids in the future this is your mother speaking. This is what she did when she had to um, get her vaccine in the year 2021. That is your grandma driving your mom home now. But anyways, I'm just gonna leave it here. Um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hey, so this is um, post vaccine. Gabby actually that video has been filmed like I think last week or something so obviously I'm here breathing alive um so I'm just here to you know give you guys a heads up of the aftermath of the vaccine um just like with any other shot your arm will be sore which was for me my arm was kind of sore um but only for like one day I felt fine. I didn't feel like I was nauseous or anything like that. Other than the soreness, I felt pretty good actually. But I did hear that the second dose is, um, the second dose might make you feel a little sick or sicker. But also, I only heard that from people who are older and who got the Moderna one. I got the Pfizer because I am under. Oh, well, I'm 16. So that was that. This video is not to rub in anyone's face that, oh, I got the vaccine or that um, I'm trying to discourage wearing masks or anything. Like just because you get the vaccine does not mean you're immune, like obviously. And um, about like getting the vaccines, I know like, as well, well, still, I think still right now it's, hard to get the vaccines because everything is like booked and everything but i feel like everyone will get a dose at least a dose they will be great it's just now 
because people are like there's a lot of people and then everything's being booked i know it's difficult to get you and your family booked an appointment for a vaccine but just just hang in there i'm pretty sure everyone will get a dose if not now eventually you will so that is basically it i hope that this will be used in a i don't know research paper maybe my kids research paper um maybe this will help them out but i just really thought that this would be cool to vlog and post even though it's like oh i'm just getting like a shot or something we're gonna go down in history like for real this video maybe it will be an educational video being shown to uh kids at school so I feel like it's such a Gen Z thing to vlog everything. Like, if you're dying, you're going to post it on Snapchat. Anyways, that's off topic. But, um, yeah, I just hope everyone stays safe. And even though you got the vaccine, you're still going to have to wear your mask, bro. And, like, social distance because um, you're not immune. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.